What the hell was I thinking? Holy. Oh my goodness. Would you look at that? Oh, would you just look at it? Oh yeah, we're all back, put back together. Sweet. Oh yeah, we had a little bit of an incident there. We're not even gonna go there. <laughs> but as you can see, the truck's all put back together. Just uh, clean out the inside of it now. And the grill looks amazing. I love it. Like, the old camera's not picking it up, but the lighting on it's like awesome when the sun comes out it's perfect color perfect color but as you can see the engine bay up how wash the engine bay up and stuff and it looks really clean now like i didn't even know this piece was yellow i didn't even know that this said trans fluid i didn't even know there was a sticker right there <laughs> you know but i got everything all put back together there Still got a wet sand and buff the uh, doors and fender, but that'll be uh, later on in the week. But uh, yeah, a lot cleaner. Like I didn't even know there was a sticker down there before. So I'm just kind of sort of cleaning up the interior now because it really needed it badly. Again, just barely even started. My camera was low on juice here, so I plugged it in. Now I'm only got like two minutes left of juice. So, did the bench seat, well, just this one section right here, back there, still dirty. Uh, floor in this general facility, cleaned up a little bit, you know. But, uh, yeah, holy cow, <laughs> holy smokes. Got the new tail light in, nice and shiny. Side here is looking well. Side here over here is still a mess. Just don't look at it. <laughs> but over here, it's like a vacuum and stuff like that. Yeah, that's nice. Pretty much what I did was I did the old-fashioned trick with the uh, uh, oil. Had a bunch of oil sitting around from all the lawnmowers and shit. So I ended up just coating the inside of the rockers um, with a load of oil, as you can see. And just because my rockers are pretty damn good, you know. No, uh, no rot. They're all solid. So I figured them out since they're good, might as well do them, you know. But, uh, yeah. Never even noticed this thing before. I happened to see it over there, and apparently if you just, there's a, yeah, push down, the seat collapses. I never even knew that. I just randomly saw it, and like, what the hell's that? And I just pressed the next thing you know, the seat collapsed. It's like, oh, that's pretty cool. So... But uh, I gotta say, guys, for this truck, there's quite a bit of room back here. Like, right now, the seat's all the way back. But, like, if I had my seat up a little more, it's pretty quite comfortable back here. You know? Yeah, I can't do it because, yeah, it's too much shit in the way. But, I mean, just like right there, like, there's plenty of seating room back here. I like it. You know? So, it's a good sized truck. Gets the job done. But uh, I think maybe either before winter, midwinter, or after winter, I'll be. Uh, I think I'll be in the market for another truck. I want to get a plow truck. I want to do some plowing this winter. I know a guy that's got one. I might show it to you maybe later on this year. It's a pretty nice. I think it's an F three fifty gasser extended cab. It's not too bad. I might uh, just do an even trade out with this thing. You know, have to wait and see. But it's looking pretty good. Did the hood last night. As you can see, oh yeah, we got a new uh new little piece there. Went to the junkyard today, picked this up, and I didn't have my brake lines. They already squashed the truck, so I couldn't save the uh, brake lines. So I'm sure eventually within the next year or so I'll be uh doing that brake line down there and the one on the other side. But yeah. Nice little bug shield I picked up. The guy's like, here, take it. Sweet. You know, now I got the bug shields for this thing too. It goes all the way up and around here and the one on the back. I'll do the, I'll put those on once I'm done wet sanding and buffing, but, you know, shit.
truck looks a lot more beefy now. But I'm gonna get back to work. I'm gonna throw this camera on the charger. Gotta do the windows for sure because they're hazy as fuck. Holy shit. And uh, yeah. Nice. Fancy, fancy. Alright, guys. Well, it's almost done and I'm getting ready to go have some food. But I just got done doing the insides. Came out a shitload cleaner than what it was. Cleaned off all the trim pieces and the dash and door panels. Didn't do the windows yet. Probably do that tomorrow. Um, stuff that right there. But uh, she's all cleaned up. Came out really clean actually. A lot cleaner than what it was before, that's for damn sure. Could clean out the back window and stuff and junk like that, but the interior is clean, just except for the windows. Do that tomorrow. Get the wires run for the uh, backup camera. Uh, the screen that I had, complete junk, so I ran new wires and I'll probably just mount it somewhere like right about here or something. Uh, I don't like things on the window, so I'll either go right here or something like right here. I don't know. I'll figure it out. But, uh, came out a lot cleaner. Came out a shitload cleaner. One thing I like about this truck is the two captain's chairs. Love that. But, uh, next, uh, next big, uh, task is gonna be trying to get the four wheel drive to work. I've been soaking it and soaking it the past month or so. So, I'm gonna try again tomorrow. Maybe it'll go into four wheel drive and we'll have to wait and see. Fucking dog. Oh. But came out pretty good. Tomorrow I'll finish buttoning everything up. Won't put the fender flare on or the uh, decal, the little emblem on until I'm done wet sanding and buffing it. But uh, I gotta say that grill <laughs> fucking just makes it. It look good, rally stripe too. <laughs> Rip the hood. But gonna wash her all up. You know, definitely looks a shitload nicer. You know. So, just just don't look from that part. <laughs> just don't look from here. <laughs> Dense. Well, I'm going to have some dinner, and uh, we'll get back to you in a little bit. Yeah, Alright, well, we're back at the shop, as you can see. So, uh, yeah, so actually I just got done actually doing the windows. I said I wasn't going to do them. I ended up doing them. So, fuck Windex. This stuff's way better. Yeah, like an auto parts store. But, uh, oh, two more speakers to add to my speaker collection. If anyone needs some Ford speakers, let me know, because I got eight of them. <laughs> Still three down there. <laughs> boom, boom, boom. Boom, 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 boom. So... Uh, I guess this is going to be the end of the video. Uh, I'm not going to upload this thing right away. I'm getting ready to clean up out here. i got to pull the uh, Murray in tomorrow. Get that finished up. Uh, I sold that uh, that motor that was in that box. That was over there this morning. Sold that for 220 bucks. So that's not too, too bad. Um, so yeah, tomorrow's plan is uh, we're going to get the... Uh, the Murray in here, we're going to finish that up, we're going to bolt the carb on that, uh, pop that battery in it, and I do believe we're going to do a rocker cover gasket on it, uh, put the air filter in, and put some oil in it, and give her a test whirl. Um, so if I can uh, get that running tomorrow, I can have it sold pretty much by tomorrow night, because I know someone that needs a tractor. Pretty bad, so I guess that'll be a quick little sell if I get that done. Um, what else? Oh yeah, we got the China Quad. Uh, I haven't really told you guys much about that. Uh, yeah, the China Quad sitting out there. Uh, we, I already, I don't know if I've already told you. I already bought the parts for it. Uh, I already bolted some of the parts on. Um, I got the China Quad running. Runs pretty nice, actually. Runs pretty throaty. Um, I'm gonna pull that in here. Maybe if tomorrow if I have enough time. Pull it in here. We're going to finish doing the brakes on it. Um, drain the oil on it. Change the oil. 
Uh, and I think that might be it on that thing. And it's going to go for a quick little test ride out in the woods. Uh, Dwayne, he's going to take it out to his girlfriend's place, something like that, out in the woods there. And he's going to test her off it. And if there's anything wrong with it, just come right back and we'll uh, finish, it, finish it up. Um, you know, I can't really, I mean, there's no place for me to ride it here. Shit, get a fucking speeding ticket. But, uh, yeah. I guess I can put my decal on. Pretty cool. But, um, yeah, this place is just a, a wreck. It was clean yesterday. I think it's a uh, holy wind. It is pretty windy out there, actually. Um, get some grass seed. I'm going to shred that probably tonight. Shred that out in the mask. Uh, unpack my tools. This little McGuire stuff isn't bad. I use this on the truck today for the interior. It's uh, not too bad. It smells pretty good. It smells like coconut. So, uh, it's got Scotch Guard. Come on, auto focus, I'm gonna kill you. There you go. Yeah. Walmart, four bucks. So, this engine here, focus, focus, come on. We just went through this. You can focus out. Oh, there you go. Camera focused. Um, waiting on parts for this. I gotta order those up tonight now. Uh, I gotta order a new Magneto. Couldn't find a user on eBay. So we're going to order a new one of those, uh, a few other oddball stuff that we need for it, and I guess that's about it, and then we'll be uh, getting rid of it and selling it and stuff and junk like that. Um, yeah, so that's it on that motor. Uh, we got the word in from FedEx, FedEx, the goose that fucked up the motor. Uh, pretty much, we're not doing anything about it. We ain't getting any money back from them. Uh, not too quite happy about that. It's kind of sort of like you guys fucked up the motor. You guys should at least pay some of the motor or at least like give back the amount of money that it costs to ship it. It was like $87 and something cents to ship that damn motor. And uh, yeah. Final word is today. FedEx ain't giving us jack shit back. Uh, we're not too really pleased about that. You know, you think FedEx would just give us the four hundred dollars and say, "Oh, sorry about that." Well, I guess I guess that uh, they don't do that. So that's just wonderful. It's like it's their problem. You know, I've sent in the paperwork. I've sent in the photos of it when it was shipped out and when it was received to the uh, owner. How it was. Shipped and how badly it was mangled. It looked like it was fucking dragged across an airport runway with an airplane. They don't give two shits. So I'm done with FedEx. Uh, they ain't worth your time. So don't even bother. You know, definitely just isn't uh, just isn't worth the time. And people were commenting on the video. Oh well, did you ship it right? Did you put all the right packing materials in it? Da, da, da. You know all that bullshit. Yeah, believe me, I know how to ship a fucking motor. That was like it's raining out. Um, yeah, I know how to fucking ship a motor. It gets fucking put on a pallet. Gets boxed up in two layers of boxing, you know. And, uh, yeah. You know. So, then not doing uh, jack shit about the uh, motor. You know, would have been nice for them to at least refund the money that it cost to ship the damn thing. But, oh well, just a kick in the balls if you know what I'm saying. Um, but that motor is, uh, that motor is going to be getting put on the, uh, Husqvarna Zero Turn. If you guys have been asking when I'm going to get that up and going. Uh, yeah, pretty damn near sure soon. Uh, I just don't know how, when, and shoot soon. Uh, pretty much once I place this order for this engine here, just get the rest of the parts. I got to order a new valve cover. Um, going to get a new valve cover for the one that's all fucked up. Out in the tarp shimmy there. Um, there was a guy on eBay. I emailed him about the flywheel shroud. Uh, 
I, I sent him an offer of, uh, I think it was like nine bucks for the flywheel shroud. And he came back with a second offer of $20. And I replied back of an offer of $17. Hasn't got back yet, so I don't think I'll be uh, paying $17. I guess I'll have to pay the 20 bucks if I want a new cover. So I'll probably end up ordering that up as well. You know. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> Kohler's. Run good. I like the way they run. Run very nice. I gotta say that. But they just don't run good when you ship them out to freaking Pennsylvania and they come back with a freaking broken valve cover, broken flywheel sh shroud piece, and carburetor thingy that goes right here and that. This isn't the motor I'm talking about. It's the motor out in the tarp chamois there, but that's not the point, you know? Like I said, yeah, you think FedEx would just call it a loss on them and, you know, give me at least, fuck, I don't know, just give me some money back, you know, even to cover the shipping that it costs to ship it out. Would be nice. I guess not. So, I guess uh, the way I should look at it is I'm pretty much paying uh, $87 for that motor and whatever I put into it for parts, you know, you know, so... But we did sell the other Kohler V-Twin motor that came out of the Scots. That sold last night for $315. And the dude played like $81 to ship it or something like that. So that got sold. Sold the hydrostatic transmission. Uh, that yellow seat that's up there. Uh, and the electronic PTO clutch that I gotta find. Uh, that's not it. Oh yeah, here it is. This electronic PTO clutch. That's gonna get shipped out tonight, actually. So, yeah. So, you know, whatever. I also had the uh, Aaron Zero turn there on uh, on eBay. There, I had that at auction. Um, didn't meet the reserve. I had the reserve price set at seven hundred and seventy-seven dollars and seven cents. And, uh, yeah, that didn't quite meet the reserve. I think the highest bid was, like, $551 or $511. Um, so I wasn't too pleased with that. So I stuck it on Craigslist this morning for, I think, like, 700 and, uh, I don't know, right around 760 bucks. No replies yet on that. So I guess, again, I'm going to be taking a loss on that, you know. But I'm not too, uh, I'm not quite too happy with the way things have been going lately, I can tell you that. You know, just taking too many damn losses lately, it's been freaking just a kick in the balls, you know. But, hopefully the next few weeks will be a little bit better. Uh, hopefully we get rid of that, uh, Aaron Zero turn. Uh, that would be nice if that gets sold, you know. One guy made an offer of 500 bucks, it's like, 500 bucks, I might as well keep it, you know. Sometimes I have to ask myself if it's worth it just for me to chop the thing up or if it's worth it to sell it in a hole, you know. I've actually even thought about chopping that thing up, believe it or not. And uh, just don't have it in me to chop it up, I guess, you know. Just one of those things. So, I don't know. I really would have thought that would have sold by now. I mean, $707 for a friggin' uh, an Aaron Zero Turn. Pretty good deal for around here. You know, but I guess not. You know, people like to jew you down. Whatever, like I said. So, I guess, uh, well, in this babbling bullshit part right here, um, <coughs> I guess we'll just uh, end the video here. We'll talk to you guys all tomorrow. And, uh, we'll be doing some more different things and such. So, I don't know. I guess we'll talk to you guys all tomorrow. Oh, look at that phone's ringing.